Hello everyone, this is HGS Gasky here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I wonder how fast I can say all that. Anyways, we're going to be playing more Animal Crossing. If you missed episode one, go check it out right now. Close this video, go to the first one. Otherwise, none of this is going to make sense. Basically, we are sleeping in our tent and this dream dog kind of appeared. I'm not familiar enough with Animal Crossing to know exactly what's going on, but his name's KK. So let's just jump right into it. So it looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the uh, that's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. I'm kind of liking this dog right now, actually. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Wait, is that a cat? That's definitely not a cat. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. This is getting real deep. Like, really, really deep. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of my of that myself. My bad. <laughs> All right, well, at least he's, he's very honest, which is good. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends is pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. I'm kind of introverted, guys. He's like saying, go out there and make friends, and I'm kind of like, my best friend is... Is me and Ro. I feel like we're doing okay. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool, when you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. Who is this guy? He's so cool. He's he's a cat or a dog. It remains to be seen. He plays a guitar. Definitely looks like a dog to me, but calling himself a cat. But I think he means like metaphorically, not actually a real cat. I don't, I don't know, guys. Tom Nook Husky, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you. Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. I, he definitely did wake me. He absolutely 100% woke me. Oh, snap, we got some beats going. All right, all right, that's it. Did you guys know growing up, I wanted to be a radio DJ? I thought that that was so, or is it radio jockey DJ? The guys who talk at you between songs. That's what I wanted to do. I legit thought that that was going to be my entire career. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day! I slept that long. Wow, I needed that. You know, every time I wake up, I'm like, wow, I slept that long. But I'm also like, wow, I needed that. So we're going to go with, wow, I needed that. Ho, ho, ho! Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which... I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? What's he got for me? Is that a phone? Okay, okay. So it started with he gave me a tent. And now we've already upgraded to a phone. I just seen his quaking for sure. It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. This guy's making his own phones. That is pretty awesome. I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? I mean, I hope it's working right. All right, well, here's our Nook phone. Welcome. I'm like, what if you're playing this game on a phone? You'd be on a phone in a game on your phone. And then what if that phone game has a phone? Uh, it's going to hurt my head. Good, good. Looks like you're getting a good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. All right. I will, I guess. <laughs> Say, Husky, have you ever used a smartphone before? Oh, Tom Nook. Have I? I'm, I mean, I've got multiple phones at this point. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I don't know. I can tweet on my current phone. I don't know about your Nook phone. We'll, we'll find out. He's talking a big talk. I have one more thing for you. What do we got? Paper. It's your itemized bill? This includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax... This game has bills? This game is like real life. I'm starting to get stressed already. I'm like, how am I, how am I gonna pay these bills? Why, is there, is there interest? Am I gonna have late payments? I don't know. Labor tax and of course your Nook phone, which first of all, I did not ask for. Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. I think Michael's are closed right now. So I'm hitting my mic. Where am I gonna get these bells? What are bells? Right? That's one of the questions. What are bells? Ha ha ha, good one, Husky. Wait, you're being serious? Yeah, buddy, I don't know what bells are. Yeah, I mean, like, like bells? Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here in Husky Town. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. I'm, I'm already in debt. I am $50,000 in debt. This doesn't even, this doesn't even include the student loans. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, buddy. Definitely appreciate that. Well, no need to worry. I mean, what's there to worry about? 
other than I'm 50,000 bells in debt. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Huh, I call this extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage, question mark? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. This guy really likes to pat himself on the back. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Husky Town. I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn, and you can use them to pay back your move-in fees, also known as debt, and much more. So the bottom line is you need 50, 45,300 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook mobile app and you'll see what we've earned. Some miles just for traveling the island and joining the program. This is like a lot of a lot of small text print. I feel like I'm signing away my life here. Now, if excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again for your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Husky Town and a client of Nook Inc. All right, well, that was unexpected. My guy's really happy though. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's in here. You've got mail. Oh, a letter from Nintendo. Dear Husky, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy from Nintendo. All right, what is what is the present? Open! Simple DIY workbench. Learn? Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't want to drop it. What are these clump of weeds? I, I still know why I'm carrying around. We're just gonna plant it. We're planting weeds right in the front here. All right, well, somewhere in front of my tent is weeds. So that is just, just wonderful. Let's go ahead and get some pears. You know, if there's nothing I know how to do, it is shaking a tree until stuff falls out. I mean, look how many sticks. Ah, oh, we got sticks for days. All right, three pears and three sticks. What more could I possibly want? What can you do with the pear, actually? I guess I could eat it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on eating any of my pears. I don't even know what these sticks are for, but you know, it is a bountiful harvest, so we will take everything and maybe we can sell it for some of those bells to pay off my crushing debt. Can I come in here? I don't even knock. I just I just walk right into people's tents. Not a good habit, actually. Don't do that, but they seem quite accommodating to me right now. Ah, Husky! Welcome, welcome! As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? I feel like it kind of does, though, in a way. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island, or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that you can help really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? I mean, I feel like I should... I should do that, yes? Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Oh, you're still setting out, but for the stars, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'm sure I'll take a look. Not that I have any bells, but hey, let's see what they got. A campfire cookware... And a barbecue. Oh, we also got all this stuff as well. We got, we got, we got yellow mum bag. We got DIY for beginners, sapling, pears, all sorts of good stuff. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers. We'll also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. And because we want to support our efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. Uh, does that count the weeds that I just planted? Because that... I totally just planted weeds. If you know whether we'll buy something, just ask. All right, well, will you buy my pears? I want to sell. Will he buy my pears and my sticks? What am I offering? Oh, have I got, have I got a, have I got a deal for you, buddy? Not only do I have three sticks, I also have three pears. And let's see how much he will take them for. Look at all this fine things you're on today. Allow me a moment to run the numbers. And done! I can buy these from you for a total of 315 bells! That... That just seems like a really good deal. I, that took me two seconds and I have 300 bells. You know, I, I guess I could let him go for 315 bells. I was looking to get 700, but you know, I'm walking away with 315 bells. Thank you, please come again. Oh, before I forget, I want to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. I feel like you should have told me this before I sold the fruit. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. 
Has anyone shared that with you? What I mean is you could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Now it's time for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna schlang this fruit like crazy, man. If he is taking my fruit for 315 bells, I, I'm just gonna run around and find fruit trees. And like, I bet if I shake this tree, a bunch of sticks are gonna come out. Where are them sticks at? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I know you got more sticks in here, tree. I, I mean, you're a tree. You're literally made of sticks. All right, we're, we're, oh my goodness, the sticks just, they just keep on coming. We, this is a, pr a money printing machine right now. I mean, can I just keep shaking this all day or, or are we out of sticks at this point? Okay. All right. I feel like, I feel like we've, we've robbed this tree. Of, what did I just pick up? We've robbed this tree of its sticks. Oh, apparently I'm just picking up weeds. Wait, are these the weeds I can pick up? Oh my goodness. I am actually making this place wonderful. Look at this. Just picking up all these weeds. Homie is literally going to buy these off of me. And I am going to be balling. I'm going to be the first bellionaire. <laughs> the, the first bellionaire on this island. Because, you know, you got to put in the time, guys. If you at home want to be a bellionaire and have a billion bells, you got to, you just got to put in the time. You know, you got to pull up your, your boots by the bootstraps. You got to get out here. You got to collect these weeds. And you too will be a bellionaire. You know, guys, I'm a big fan of making a lot of bells so i'm just gonna keep i'm just gonna keep doing what i do which is making that bells are there any more sticks in here there they go you gotta really just just give it the old give it the old try hard shake here all right that's good enough for me all right i do feel bad though i feel like i should talk to some of the residents so let's go check it out what's going on right here did I, wait did i just kick something apparently i can kick a snowball where'd it go that's no well i didn't Really want that, but hey. Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but my guy just loves to kick it. Is it getting bigger? I'm trying to tell if it's getting bigger or not. I don't know how big this thing will get. It should be getting bigger. It's rolling. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. I wonder how big this thing can get. You know, if I eat a pear, it can probably get bigger. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. I take it back. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. I don't, I don't know if it go off the cliff, but I've been working hard on this thing. I have no idea what the point of it is, but I've been working very hard on my big ball of snow. I don't know where I'm going with it, but man, or oh, I'm very upset at myself about that. So let's enter this person's tent. Looks like no one's here. All right. Well, I tried. You know, I tried to visit my neighbor, but no one's ever home. So what's even the point? We're just going to shake these. All right, guys. How many bells do you think I'm going to get right now? I bet it's gonna be, I mean, it's gotta be 3,000, right? It's gotta be, this, this, I mean, this is a bountiful harvest for sure. It's gotta be at least 3,000 bells. We haven't, we haven't got one more weed, here we go. Let's just go schlang it and see what we can buy. That is the real question. Wait, 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 we'll get more pairs. No, you know what? I wanna keep my bet at 3,000 bells. All right, buddy. Have I got some goods for you? I wanna sell. All right, here we go. 50 weeds. Get out of my inventory, that's for sure. Look at all these fine things you brought today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. 3,000 bells, 3,000 bells, 1480. I feel like this is worth way more than that. Whatever. All right, so we got 1,800 bells. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we can buy again. No, I don't want to sell. I don't have anything to sell you. I clicked the wrong button. Okay, well, let's, let's try and be more patient with our clicking. Let's see what is for sale. Uh, what are we going to sell today? Ah, oh, I can almost get the barbecue. Flimsy fishing rod, flimsy net, flimsy watering can. Why is it all flimsy? Okay, first of all, a slingshot. 400 for one pair? The markup is real. This guy's taking the pairs that he bought from me for like 20 bells or whatever, and he's selling them for 400. Man, what a businessman. I definitely got to get a slingshot. Yeah, oh yeah, oh. 100% getting a slingshot. Okay, and thank you for the 900 bells. I like how a pair is like basically the cost of a slingshot. I guess we'll get a net as well. Sure. I mean, all these things look very important. Thank you for 400 bells. Anything else look interesting? How about a flimsy fishing rod? Oh, interesting. A fishing rod. You could build one for free, you know, in President Nook's DIY workshop. So I could suggest that route. This one costs 400 bells. Are you still interested? I am lazy thumbs up for relatability we're gonna buy it we are gonna buy it excellent purchase yes thank you for the 400 bells anything else you look interesting i mean i'm i'm bell broke 
So I'm straight up out of bells. All right, so let's try and figure out how to use all this sweet stuff that I bought. Honestly, I have no idea. No idea whatsoever how to use this stuff. So let's see, we got a flimsy net, we got a slingshot. Place item, I'm gonna hold this thing, baby. All right, how do I, how do I start slinging at people? Oh, here we go. Woohoo! I don't know where that went. I don't know who that's gonna hit. I don't know. I guess I could, I can just shoot them straight up. I mean, I don't really, I don't really understand where these are going. I, I mean, someone's getting hit by these. All right, well that's that. Flimsy net. Oh, I'm gonna hold this thing for sure. I'm gonna catch myself all sorts of bugs. Yeah! Got you, butterfly. Oh, did I kill that thing already? I caught a moth and I had a ball doing it. He literally caught the moth and shoved it in his pocket. That is awesome. All right, is there other stuff out here to catch? Whoa, come here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! My aim is impeccable. Yes, I caught a dung beetle. This species likes feces. Immediately shoves it in pocket. I, I question the sanity of my character. And I kind of love it. All right, so we're just going to see if there's any other. What's this? Okay, that, that's definitely a rock. Hey, wait, can I catch this? Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Or can I just pick it up? Oh, can I just pick it up? I, I like hitting things with a net much more, though. Husky, thanks a ton for earlier. I got my tent all up and running thanks to a pep talk. The brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island, so I was all ready to go solo, you heard? I could totally go for having a rock stars like you around, though. Let me know if you need anything. How about that? How about 84,000 bells or whatever I need? I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Not how I would normally thank my friends, but hey, you know, it's the thought that counts. It's not the leaf umbrella. All right, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should toss Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos at the resident services. All right, so these guys, I mean, trying to hit these weeds with this freaking net, just, just scoop them up. Uh, we gotta try our fishing pole as well. Oh man, I got, I got dung beetles. I got a, cow a cowrie. I got, I'm getting all sorts of stuff right here. We gotta try, we gotta try this fishing rod though. Let's go fishing, baby. I'm assuming. You, wait, can I pick this up? Wait, no. I want to pick. I want. All right. Well, we're going fishing. I was trying to pick that up, but what can you do? Okay, then that pulls it. All right. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, do I? I can change the angle of the camera here. Check it out. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything. I feel like. Do I have to cast it over at this thing? The actual fish in the water? Let's see. Yeah! Nailed it. Oh, this fish is going for it. He is going for it, man. Come on. Come on, you gotta nibble it. You gotta, you gotta really bite onto it there. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my goodness, that's a very exotic fish, actually. I caught a dab. I'm sorry, I'm telling you guys. The jokes are bad, not bad. I caught a dab, not bad. Okay, we're gonna put this fishing pole away. I, I, yeah, put that away. And let's see if I can pick whatever this up is. Coral. It's not letting me. All right, well, that coral can hang out there. So I've learned how to pick weeds. I've learned how to catch bugs. I've learned how to fish. I've learned how to shake the heck out of trees because they're basically money makers. And now I gotta go learn how to do some DIYs. That is for absolute sure. So we're just gonna pick these up. And I know he was saying to make the sweet umbrella, you got to collect some weeds. I don't know how many weeds, but I mean, they really want me to pick all these up. So I don't know if these grow back though. Like, is this an infinite resource or do I have to like spin these weeds very carefully because they'll never grow back? I don't know. Hopefully this is enough weeds to make an umbrella. Something I never thought I would say. All right, let's go to this DIY bench and let's see what is going on here. Oh, snap. It is my Nook phone that I totally forgot. There's my Nook Miles. Custom designs, rescue service, passport, and map. All right, let's check out the Nook Miles. You're enrolled in the Nook Miles program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods to the Nook shop in the Resident Services Center. Make the most out of the island life. Earn Nook Miles. All right, well, I guess I can claim these. You travel a long way to just move on a little island, and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage program, so you earn your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim these free miles. 500 miles, baby. They encourage them to, uh, who are aiming to become fishing masters. Look at that, one out of 10. 
I'm an expert. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. I mean, my anxiety is like starting to, uh, to, to, to catch up to me right now. I don't know if I can talk to them every day. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Spoiler alert, I do not have a sock drawer right now. I'm basically sleeping on the floor. Greedy Weeder. Uh, Nook salutes you for your beautification efforts. Rewards you with Nook miles for pulling weeds. Why can I claim this one yet? Oh, yeah. 300 miles, baby! Okay, I gotta pull way more weeds. Planting flowers, picking the bunch, go ahead and be shellfish, cast master, horde reward. They will give you miles for freaking everything, man. Wait, I can still claim some of these. I mean, they are really giving me rewards for everything. Seller of unwanted stuff. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take 300 miles for that. Okay, so a lot of miles for a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can learn how to do some of that DIY stuff right about now. All right, what do you got, man? What do you got for me? Ah, Husky. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all up. Oh, I, I, I don't know what I clicked on. Honestly, I was clicking way too fast. Yes, this is the question. I've got just the thing. You have a, a yet to attend one of my DIY workshops. Hmm? Once you get going with DIY, you'll really open up some new doors. I dare say it's crucial to island life. Of course, the workshop is completely free. No hidden fees. I do recommend it highly. Uh, okay. Well, how do I, how do I do one of the workshops? All right, so you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes. Lord DIY is also shaking. I feel like this game was made for YouTubers. We got DIYs, we got tech, we got building your own home out of nothing. There's a lot of YouTube channels of that, which is awesome. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for Island Life. Hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available session? Sure. I'm down. I'm super down. Yes, yes, that's the Island Spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. I like how he's like, should I put you down? Ah, never mind. Let's just let's just do it right now. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. Hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials they can find anywhere. I should not have bought this fishing rod. Uh, for this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, can you see me once you've collected the materials? Wait, do I have five? Oh, I've only got two. All right. All right. Well, I sold all my branches and I bought something that I'm about to make right now. There there were definitely mistakes made, but we're going to we're going to recover from this. Hopefully this tree has its sticks back in order now. There's one. I need three. We are looking for three sticks. There's two. There's three. And four. We'll take it. You know what? We're just going to take all these. One more shake for good measure. All right. Let's go make that fishing rod. Homie is drinking and eating all the time. I can relate. Ah, uh, Husky found the necessary materials. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead. Give it a try. All right. So I'm going to go over here to the workbench. We're going to make this. We're going to craft it. Let's do it. Oh my. He. I am really going for it, man. I am not messing around. I made a flimsy fishing rod. I don't know how to tell you that is not a fishing rod. That is 100% some sort of toolbox. Yes, yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple. Variety, you have the correct recipes. Hmm? And then that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? All right, well, there it is. I got a pretty sweet phone case on there. Yeah, got them recipes. Oh, got a new app on here, actually. Splendid! Thank you! The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep! It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while, at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you shame in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast a line, which I learned the very hard way on my own. Uh, I would love to see you anything magic catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see what else I can make. Should I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? Let's craft. So we've got the flimsy fishing rod, the campfire, and the flimsy net. I probably should not have gone on that shopping spree, but I'm just someone who likes buying stuff in games. So the campfire, it takes three tree branches. Pretty easy. This one takes five tree branches. And that looks like it. I wonder if I already have, how do I like learn these recipes? Yeah, we just learn it by clicking on it. Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a leaf umbrella. Not quite sure what that is, but I know how to make it now. And that means I can also learn simple DIY workbench. Let's learn it. Oh, wait, can I... Can I put this in my tent and do it there? Or do I always have to come here? 
Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. All right, so let's see what all these things need. Probably a lot of sticks. Yeah, so let's let's craft. This really is like Minecraft. So the leaf umbrella, straight up, you make it out of weeds. You just mash the weeds together, and you have an awesome umbrella. So we're gonna craft it. Can you imagine if, like this is how you actually made stuff? Yeah, that actually looks like an umbrella at least. I made a leaf umbrella. Uh, keep crafting. I want to. I want to just see what the other recipe is. A simple DIY workbench. It's literally a a chunk of wood. I need an iron nugget and five hardwood, which I have no idea how to even get that stuff. All right. Well, let's try using my baller, my baller umbrella that everyone's gonna be totally jealous about. Let's check it out. Let's use this bad boy. I'm gonna hold it. Oh yeah, we we are we are looking cool. Oh, Husky, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services overnight, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. All right, what should I do? Feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything you need to help you get used to living here. Hmm. You know, shaking trees or cutting them down can sometimes knock loose a wasp nest. So be careful. Your face might get all puffy if you get stung while tangling with angry wasps. That sounds horrifying. I even heard of puppy face folks getting re-stung and then fainting, so don't press your luck. In resident services, we sell medicine that'll help with insect stings and bites and such. If I were you, I think I'd carry some with me at all times. That sounds absolutely horrifying. Oh my gosh, that owl is so cute. Island bulletin board. We'll use this board to post support notices and other useful bits of information. Island residents, videos alike, should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a post. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna say. Uh oh, man, this is gonna be slow typing. Yo, sup? I mean, this is this is just absolutely painstakingly slow. Sup? Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, sup, ya dudes. Bam! This is what the community post is all about. So we're gonna post this right on there. I mean, we're done. That's all it needs to say. We, no, 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 not what I wanted. I wanna confirm. There we go. Sup, you dudes. The residents are gonna love this sweet message that I have written them. I mean, I guess I could explore the island a little bit more. So that's just kind of what I was wondering is, can you just run through water? The answer is no, but you can twirl your umbrella. Which is, which is, you know, very unique in of itself. I guess we'll hold the fishing rod for now. In case we find some sweet, sweet fish. But I kind of just want to see what this island is all about. Like, is there other stuff to do? Okay, that is, that is not... Okay, can I put this away? And then... I'm going to eat one of these pears. Everyone's telling me I should eat it. Okay, well, I ate one out of 10. Am I super strong now? Can I pick up all this crazy stuff here? Okay, well, I got a stone. Definitely cannot smash this. What do I do with a stone? I'm guessing it's a crafting item. I think right now I'm just gonna start harvesting stuff. And and I don't even know. I, I guess, I, guess I, I feel like I should just explore the island. How do I get across this water? That is the real question. Am I gonna have to build my own bridges? I feel like I might have to. I might as well grab a stick while we're at it. How do you get across this water? That is, I mean, I feel like we're trapped on a little island right now. I can go down on the beach. Can I run into the water? No. Okay, now I think there's an airport over here. I don't know what it can actually do, if anything. But hey, let's just check it out. What is this guy doing? What is in his, oh, that's his bill. <laughs> I thought it was like blowing a bubblegum bubble. How can this guy type? He does not have fingers. That is a good question. Hang on a sec. How'd you get in here? Could have swore I locked the front door. Oh, geez. Apparently, I'm just like breaking into the airport. Eh, it doesn't matter. We're still getting set up here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that. Should be open for flights tomorrow, though, so be sure to come back then. All right. Well, I definitely just broke into an airport before they were ready for business. Oops. All right. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and go take a nap in my sweet, sweet tent. And then I think what I'm gonna do is just run around and harvest a bunch of stuff. Just so I have all that stuff. And then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. But let's see if it'll let me take a nap, actually. I mean, right right now, my guy's literally just chilling. I guess I can look at my phone. 
Take pictures using various filters and effects. Well, I mean, this is just a great, just a great, just a great photo here. Look at that, you know? Humble beginnings of my tent with a lantern and a little radio and my cot. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. This game is actually really fun and strangely addicting. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and collect a few more things, run around a little bit more, and I will update you guys in part three. If for some reason you didn't watch part one, definitely go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I really do. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.